Hi, and welcome to the first part of a five-part tutorial series on flash track send reports. In this video, we'll give you an idea of what flash track send reports is and how it relates to flash track. We'll also give you a basic overview of how the rest of this tutorial series is structured. So what is it? FlashTrack Send Reports is a cloud-based subscription service used in conjunction to FlashTrack, which, if you may not know, is Facility Results Flagship Arc Flash Data Collection Tool. This lets you upload any project workbooks, including any associated snapshot images online. Um, between the scenes, FlashTrack Send Reports will go and process your uploaded files and extract the associated one-line diagrams, spreadsheets, and reports. Uh, then, depending on your subscription license, for instance, if you have an annual subscription, you can also view any of those extracted one-line diagrams, spreadsheets, and reports online via the Send Reports web app. As a side note, everything is done via SSL or HTTPS, as you might think of it. Of course, once you've uploaded all your project data, um, your data is stored and backed up geo-redundantly so that's three separate servers in one data center and three separate servers in another data center. So where is it? Within your browser of choice, go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.flashtracksr.com. Most modern browsers will let you skip the https and www parts. Obviously, as mentioned before, you need a Send Reports account in order to upload your project workbooks and then view them online. It also probably goes without saying, but this process does require an active internet connection. Here's what the FlashTrack Send Reports web app looks like. In fact, when you log into FlashTrackSR.com via your browser, you should see a landing page that's similar to this. Once you've signed into the Send Reports web app, you can view your uploaded project workbooks, including any associated snapshot images, along with any one-line diagrams, spreadsheets, and reports that were generated by the Send Reports service. So now that you have a basic idea of what FlashTrack Send Reports is, let's take a look at what the rest of this tutorial series looks like. In part two, we'll show you how to upload your project. In part three, we'll show you how to maneuver around the Send Reports web app. In part four, we'll go through accessing your project data on your PC or laptop. And of course, in part five, we'll give you an idea of how you can conveniently access some of this same project data via your tablet or smartphone. Thank you for taking the time to watch the first part of our Flash Track Send Reports tutorial series. You can always reach us via the methods shown here. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.